When a person manipulates you to gain your trust, it's called grooming. And grooming can happen to anyone, but it doesn't happen overnight. And by the time you realize something's wrong, you feel like you can't stop it. Senior Pastor Paul was the head guy at my church. Everyone loved him. Because of him, I wanted to be a church leader. So I talked to him whenever I could. When he picked me to be his assistant at church, my parents were so proud. and I could see my whole future ahead of me. Thanks for the help again, Lucas. I'd be lost without you. He was a great mentor. Maybe you could do more on we talked ideas. about guy stuff and growing up and life, and everything made sense. He made me feel smart, and when I felt lonely, he could always tell. He was my friend. The church was my whole world. I wanted to be just like Pastor Paul. So if his long hugs made me uncomfortable, or his touches confused me, I'd tell myself I was wrong for feeling that way because I trusted him. He was supposed to be right. For me, the attention I got from my boss messed with my head, you know? I thought I was supposed to like it. I was stoked to have a job and to be making money. But when my boss AJ was around, things got confusing. She'd get close and talk about how I was her best worker and favorite guy. At first, the attention was nice, and an older woman maybe being into me? Every guy's dream, right? She'd invite me to hang out in her office and gave me beer. Sometimes Paul picked me for special work with him. I've got some more work to do in my office. Do you want to join me, Lucas? I felt important. Even though when we were alone, he would do weird things. Sometimes when we were in his office, he would show me porn. He said it was to teach me about sin and temptation. When he touched me, he said it was a way for people to show love. But it made me feel sick. AJ was my first boss. Fresh Pack was my first job. And money was freedom, you know? And, and I wanted to keep my job. So I, uh, I played along. Until this one night when I closed. Hey, AJ, nobody else is scheduled for the night shift. No, it's just gonna be us. You'll keep me safe. My shift was almost over when it happened. I wish I could say I wasn't freaked out, but I was. It was one of those moments where your mind just goes numb, you know? And I tried to get a handle on what was happening, but all that came into my head was, I, I have to go. With Paul, it got to a point where I couldn't ignore my feelings anymore. You remind me a lot of myself as a boy, Lucas. Here, I think you'll enjoy this. I kept telling myself, he's my friend. He's supposed to be looking out for me. But what if that's not true? and nobody would believe me anyway. In that moment, I just wanted out. Stop. I'd heard stories about weird things happening with coaches or church leaders before, but it can be hard to see when it's happening to you. In the beginning, Grooming just looks like friendship, because praise, attention, and even some affection can feel harmless at first. AJ was my boss, so it felt like I had to keep her happy to keep my job. But even though the special treatment felt good sometimes, I didn't want to feel uncomfortable at work. Paul made me feel important, and everyone trusted him, even my parents and he was always supposed to be in the right. Even though he gave me responsibility and praise, the way he acted made me feel sick to my stomach. No matter how much power someone has or what you think might happen when you say no, if they make you feel uncomfortable, they're in the wrong. I told my parents and the police, 
And even though everything finally stopped, I still can't believe the power Paul had over me. Even if it's gone on a long time, and you've gone along with it, you can still speak up for yourself, get away, or get help. <laughs>